everybody, it's Melanie and I'm here with Michael and I have been gone for a couple of weeks now because he's working from home so filming space and time is kind of limited right now yeah. but we went to our local Asian store our favorite local Asian store there are many here in Asheville and we noticed that they have some flavored Kit Kats. Not even a little bit excited. Yeah, I remember flavored Kit Kats. Um, so we picked up a few and we're going to taste test those today for you. Um, I guess we should show them what they are first. So I know you're probably most excited about that one. Hmm. So, uh, do I do the focus thing? So this is Otona no Karasa Premium Mint. So I guess it's just mint and chocolate. So Otona no Karasa is just uh, adult flavor. Which, <laughs> it is. Like, this is not kidding. Are we eating it? Wait, we're going to show oh, all the ones that we have. Okay. Um, this one is sea salt and lemon, right? Sea salt? Yeah. Sea salt and lemon. I hope you guys can see that from here. Um, which one do you want to show them next? Uh, all right. So this is uh, Sakura Nihon Sake. So Sakura in Japanese sake. Uh, I don't think it's actually alcoholic. Um, I don't know. I've had alcohol candies before, but I don't think it would work with a Kit Kat because it would soak into the wafer. Um, so all of them came in like the two little packages, uh, except for this one, and it came in singles. And so two little singles, they're the same flavor. We're going to get one each. And I believe this one is like cranberry and almond. Is that right? Uh, it says Natsu and cranberry. And... Uh, it has uh, my Nichi Knolls, everyday nuts and cranberry. So it has a picture of an almond, a cranberry, and a raspberry on the package. Hmm. What's next? Um, what's, what's, I don't even remember this Mi one. Isn't that one Mikon? O. Uh, Iyokan. I don't know the I don't know the characters, so maybe somebody can read that. I'll look it up later and try to. Do you to want me to get the big bag that it came out of? There's a cat. That came in this bag. It's maybe cat flavored. <laughs> it's not cat flavored. That looks like an orange or a tangerine or a mikon maybe. Yeah, we'll go with that. We got them. Um, two more left. See? Um. Oddly enough, I'm kind of looking forward to this one. It is a uh, peach and mint. I'm not looking forward to the chocolate. He's looking forward to the chocolate. He definitely hates peach. Peaches and the last are one. Is this another peach? Oh, no. Okay. So this is another strawberry. I think it's like a strawberry mochi one. So it should be. Ichigo mochi. Yeah, the picture looks like a little mochi, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely looks like a mochi. Which one do you want to try first? Um, I tried to open the mint one. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of glad we're doing that first because I want to get the chocolate out of the way. I'm afraid it's going to be dark chocolate. Oh, well, it it suffered a little bit in the, oh. In the voyage. Oh, wow, okay. Um, kind of so the I don't know how well that's going to come across on camera, but the wafer is actually green. That's and it smells so minty. It's a thin mint. No, it's like an Andes mint. Yeah, it's like definitely like an Andes mint, but too much chocolate for me. One time, you can have that one. I worked at Marble Slab, and a customer brought in a two-pound bag of Andes mints to make a birthday cake. And I broke a very expensive blender, blending frozen Andes mints. Whoops. What's mm. next? I get to choose next. Mm, kind of want to do the orange one next because it's 
probably the next one that I'm not looking forward to. I always save the one I want to eat the most till the last. It's slightly orange. It's very pastel orange. It smells like a creamsicle. I smell nothing. It's definitely a creamsicle. Mm. Or maybe a push pop. Very those those orange. Things? Yeah, those orange push pops. Did you ever eat those when you were a kid? Yeah, but I don't remember them. I just remember the stick. You know, like a little bar stool or something. That was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. It's your turn. Okay. Let's try an everyday nuts and cranberry. And yogurt, it says. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's a little picture of yogurt on here too, isn't there? Well, it says yogurt. Yogurt, gold. yeah. I was about to say. I can read that. Oh, oh it's, wow. it's, it's fancy. Look, it has a topping. It's actually got the berries on the top, not just like berry flavored. Oh, it's really yogurt, though. It's kind of sour and dairy. <laughs> I kind of like it. Dairy flavored. It is, it is like plain yogurt flavored. It's not like vanilla yogurt flavored. It's not okay. Then why did you eat all of it? <laughs> Let's try lemon and sea salt next. I'm not sure how sea salt and lemon are going to go together. You always like salted caramel. I do like salted caramel. I like salty things. It's kind of a cr cream colored also got a little melted. Smells like lemon. It is salty. Um, it's like somebody took a lemon pie and salted the top of it if that makes any sense I don't know why this one is a thing I don't know how I feel about this is that the only one we got no we got a <laughs> we bag, got a of, whole them? bag of those too well you'll have time to come to terms with it then I don't hate it But I don't think I review. love it. <laughs> oh, this is not sponsored by Kit Kat in any way, but Kit Kat, if you want to sponsor us, especially flavored Kit Kats from Japan, hit us up. I'm going to go for the Sakura Japanese Sake. Thought you might. Which is weird because it's a pretty flavorless beverage in the first place. I may not be able to open it. We have pink. <clears throat> it is slightly pink. Oh. Oh wow. I can smell the sake. I might smell something. Yeah. It's sake. <laughs> it is definitely sake. You can have that. I, I don't think I'm a fan. I'm going to try Ichigo Mochi. So strawberry mochi. I bet this one's going to be pink too. No, it's not. It is white with some little bits. Pink strawberry flecks in it. I hope you guys can see the colors coming through. Smell like strawberries. It 
it is very strawberry with just a hint of the mochi. Is it mochi? I think it looks like mochi. Is that, um, I'm just, I'm gonna. Ichigo Daifuku. It's Daifuku. If only we could read. Ha 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 ha. So not mochi, Daifuku. Ah, so a Daifuku, Daifuku mochi is a rice cake stuffed with sweet bean jam. So that's, that's the other flavor is the bean. Mm. And the last one. Peach mint. <laughs> I may be eating both of these. I don't know. It's kind of like the sea salt and lemon though. I'm not sure how these two things go together. It is white with, it looks like cookies and cream, almost. I don't. I hope you can the see cookies that. Cookies and cream were a good Kit Kat. I remember those. Remember the watermelon ones? Yeah. Can smell the mint. Maybe no, a little no. bit. This another one's green on the inside. Mm. We should have like cut these so we could show them. I, I feel weird about showing people my bite. I don't know if that color would come across. It's so subtle. I don't know if it would show up. Those are gone now anyway. I don't know how I feel about this. No, this was your favorite. You saved it for last. You have to eat it. I was hoping it would be my favorite. I've never had it before. It's weird. It's like the peach and the mint are battling to be the dominant flavor. Which one was your favorite? The mint was good and not weird. And the sea salt lemon was pretty good, really. And the salt was kind of strange, but... I think it's one like of those it. things, like, it's like kind of like coffee when you try it for the first time. You're kind of like, hmm, don't know about this. But the more you drink it, the more you like it. So I think it'll be the same with the sea salt and lemon. I'm surprised that I liked the orange ones so much. I didn't expect these to be high up on my list, but they were, they're actually pretty good. Which one was your least favorite? I don't know if I could eat very many of the sake flavored ones. Those were kind of a stunt. That's not like a real thing to eat, you know? Like the other ones, if if I wanted a snack and I had nothing else except for maybe the peach one, I could probably eat a few. But I don't think I would ever just reach for the sake flavored Kit Kats. I, yeah, I don't think I would either. I was surprised how much sake there was in the flavor like i don't know i it was strong it, i didn't expect it to be that strong in flavor of course yeah. i also don't like chocolate so the chocolate mint ones were not good for me any last words last words <laughs> um no we just we kind of miss these weird stunt flavors things used to have in japan um on the other hand, it's kind of nice in the U.S. If you like something, you can just keep finding it year after year, and everything changes in Japan. It's all everything's the time. seasonal. Yeah. I mean, if you find a favorite food at a restaurant, it's probably gonna be gone in a month or two. So eat it while you can, basically. It's like everything is the McRib. <laughs> well, I think that's it. If you go to what's the name of the grocery store? Here in Nashville that we go to? It's called Foreign Affair. It's on Tunnel Road. If you go there, they have lots more Kit Kats. Um, go get some before they sell out. Uh, give them some business in this hard time. Um, they are actually requiring people to wear uh, masks when you come in, so make sure that you take a mask with you when you go. Um, they have wipes out so that you can clean your hands. Um, if they have gloves available, they actually gave us gloves at one point when we went in um, to get some stuff. So just be prepared when you go in. Um, you know, they're just trying to be safe, keep themselves safe, keep us safe. Um, so it was kind of, it was kind of 
nice for them to like be like, oh, here, here's some wipes for you. You know, here's a pair of gloves. Please be safe and whatever. Um, I do have a haunted apartment update to film. Um, like I said, I need to find the time and the space. Um, I may have to do it one night while he's cooking dinner. <laughs> It's either that or film in the closet, basically, because we have an open area, his desk is in the corner, and I sit here on the couch doing whatever, or laundry, or cleaning, or whatever. So, hopefully that will be filmed soon. But I think that's it for us. Go get some Kit Kats. Tell us what you think. Have you had any of these flavors? Or if you've had a different flavor, um, leave it in the comments below. If you have a favorite flavor of Kit Kat, please leave that in the comments below. And I will put all of my social media at the end of this if you want to um, leave me a message or if you have a story you'd like me to tell. Um, my email will be in the description box below. Check that out. And we will see you next time. Bye!